let's start the case study session. So uh, we'll do it in two parts. Uh, in brief, in today's session, I'm going to to uh, to discuss uh, certain key elements that helps you to improve the quality of the answer. That's it. And second, once you give the test, then it is going to be the discussion based on and you can say the 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 copy as well as today's discussion that how you, you people are able to translate it so let's start see uh, uh, in any case study it's basically about uh, action it's basically about option so option is nothing but the action means the alternatives you have and action you will take action you will take fine uh, why I say so? Because case study is not about problem solving. It's not only about decision making. Fine. Try to understand the difference between decision making and effective decision making. So you will get the marks for the effective decision making process rather than simply decision making. If you look at your, your uh, uh, test papers, you will find that you are writing certain things which is not worth considering. For example, I will do nothing. I will do X, Y, Z. The question is, why do you consider as a, uh, a, any choice as an option? As an option. So, in the whole uh, writing, you will find justification is very important. This is something that, that in your answer sheets, uh, justification is basing. Justification is, uh, is not simply a piece of information. Justification is of two things. Whenever you pick any option, whenever you pick any uh, alternative, it's basically about two things, two things. It's basically about what problem it will solve, what problem it will solve. And number two, what is your argument to justify? Justify. We'll see it in detail through certain examples. Why I say all these things? Because if you look at the case study, case study. See, case study is about, uh, you can say, uh, for that matter, you see it like this. So, the first thing first, what you do? Once you read any problem statement, then you pick problem number one number two then you think for options or you can say choices or choices fine third you go for you can say what you need to understand is consequences Whatever you do, you have to visualize the consequences and it should be the part of your answer that you are able to visualize the consequences. Then only you can justify. You will write the merit, you will write the demerit, you will justify, you will make argument or whatever you are doing. Whatever you are doing, you would be in a position to do it only when you are able to visualize the consequences. So, default Consequences should be part of your explanation. Consequences should be part of each and every option that you are picking. Because consequences is the answer of why. Why? And then you make justification. Here justification simply means why it is uh, uh, worth considering why it is worth considering or even if it is one option why it is so so when you write answer please try to understand these four components should be in sync in your writing problem you identify correctly then you think for the options fine when you think for the options you have to take care of the the various stakeholders interests their claims etc 
then while dealing with the, the you can say the options and the choices you are able to visualize the consequences and then while writing you go for the justification why and why not why not so these are the things so in any case study what you have to do that you have to to understand that you have to bring four things in the sink these four elements in the sink problem options options means the alternatives possible consequences and then justification of each option each option so this is how you have to deal with it let's go through certain question and through the certain questions you will you will discuss it so read the case along with me fine so this case says there was a conflict between the student of upper caste and dalit community in a central university the dean and the vice chancellor called a reconciliatory meeting but it did not yield any result the other day violence erupted in some parts of the university and some hostel exam hostels examinations are very close some students have to submit their phd thesis or mphil dissertation some politicians from a certain section put pressure on the vice chancellor to take action against the agitating students and uh, uh, there are uh, two questions discuss various options available to the vice chancellor and justify why these options are worth considering worth considering so hope i am very clear to you uh, in terms of the question question is very simple very and it is taken from you can say uh, one incident happened few years a few years back in a campus but we don't have to go into that detail but let's see so uh suppose now assume students are saying number 1 that call the police what are the options number 1 number 2 suspend uh a students those who are involved in violence then 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 postpone the exam suppose hypothetically that these are uh then uh call for a meeting etc fine call for a meeting uh then talk to politicians since politician is also involved etc so suppose if you are writing all these things the first thing first should come to your mind uh what you want to achieve in this in this uh you can say uh, the case as a vice chancellor what you want to achieve so if you want to achieve let's say in any case nor mel c in the campus in the campus now if you think that uh, that normal c has to be there and for that you should do whatever you do then you will have to identify will it serve the purpose probably no probably no then the question comes here that you should do only those things which help you to achieve this achieve this why because problem is violence fine objective is normalcy fine options has to be aligned options has to be aligned on the line of three things number 1 what is role of yours number 2 who are the stakeholders what are their claims interest etc because in a effective decision making process effective decision making process you consider the stakeholders interest consider does not mean that you try to serve it consider in this things that in your thinking it should be there then how you discuss how you discard how you overcome how you deal with it that is different thing so stakeholder interest here and uh, then the constraint so and then whatever you do you have to 
justify it justify it fine so you just think over it now from this point of view how normalcy will come normalcy will come only uh, you can say start discussion with the point number one number two what you will do further you can constitute a committee where you will invite students of both the groups both the groups number three you can uh, talk to the faculty having high credential or the guardians also you can talk about the politician Polit politician also can play a very good role they may have good influence on the student but the only problem is that it may get it may get politicized so the question is here whenever you think of option you have to think of the consequences consequences in the sense that what if you go for the discussion probably it's a good option but only discussion will not serve the purpose because a reconciliatory meeting has been already filled then the question is committee why you will form the committee and how how uh, you will form the committee just to to you can say um, give the trust in the whole process because reconciliatory meeting has been filled so what is needed is here is basically that in that committee you invite representative of both the groups why what is the consequence the consequences or what you want to achieve you want to achieve that the process must be started but it this this process must have some trust and credibility among the mind of the students among the students fine similarly why i will all do all those things what is the constraint in this case constraint in this case there are two constraints in this case number one trust deficit because reconciliatory meeting has been failed and number two time is very less whenever anything of nature of violence or anything else happens then obviously you need to understand it's do it now now means now now so this is something that you will have to think you will have to consider so my point is here now your answer will go in and around these things and you will have to justify why why not now if you look at your answer sheets you will find that you are simply writing or listing majorly your majorly the options option number 1 option number 2 option number 3 option number 4 but if you read right from introduction to the conclusion then you will find that there are some listings has been done there is no sink and that's why i am using this word case study is effective decision making process similarly like mathematics the way you take any 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 question and then you start solving you follow certain steps and then you derive the conclusion in the case study conclusion simply means your final execution plan its execution plan after exploring various options you come to the conclusion that this is what exactly you are going to do so this is how you need to think here let's come to the another question another question just read the case just read the case so question says you are head of disaster management team that has been assigned with the work of rescuing and rehabilitating thousand of people affected by an unprecedented flood team members include revenue officials doctors engineers and security personnel personnel however some of the local leaders of political party were not happy because of their personal interest is not not being served a powerful minister of the government visited visits the area to make a first hand assessment of the situation and in the process meets the the local politician who were not happy the minister announces for the suspension of the two of your revenue officials 
your entire workforce get demoralized due to this announcement and are unwilling to perform under the given situation what are the options evaluate merit and demerit right allow me to come in now so if you look at this case one whatever the options you have will come later the question is number one uh, what is the problem in this case one the question is is so you need to go like this so what is the problem in this case fine so the problem in this case number one uh, is is that it's a process of disaster you can say helping in the disaster situation and number two because of this the pressure is very high it's very urgent uh, in these kind of situations always you are running against the time and number two your team is de motivated so these are the two things but obviously so as far as you can say the goal is concerned your goal will be always to solve the problem so it has to be this goal or objective has to be this that to continue the you can say this uh, this operation and number 2 motivate the team right but whenever you will do so there are certain constraints there are certain constraints and that's why it's written merit and demerit and so now let's think of the options right while doing the options you will think of consequences and then accordingly you will go for just the fication fine so in this case uh do you think that if any student writes that uh, i will do nothing is it justified option no everyone will say no but what happens often students used to write this i will do nothing or i will continue uh, you can say uh, the the rehabilitation task or this i will continue this operation i will ignore the politician etc the question is whatever you are able to visualize it are you able to visualize the consequences as well my question is this are you able to visualize the consequences of this as well as well because whatever decision you take whatever decision you take some or other limitations you will find because there is no decision which is a perfect decision so effective decision making process in the case study is basically you have to try to reach not the best but the very near to the best best it's not about what is the perfect decision it's basically about what is the most effective possible decisions at this given point of time at this given point of time so here also you need to think in this way only so for example if someone writes that i will continue operation that's it this is your task what is the demerit your team will remain demotivated your team will remain demotivated but suppose someone writes that i will visit to the senior what are the consequences possible consequences that you may get hurt by the senior but it's time taking process time taking process justification time taking process so in this kind of situation uh this is also an option being an officer you can explore but probably it is not going to be very 
effective very very effective it's good it's possible when you try but it's not effective number 3 if you ask local ngo xyz to supply the man power etc but coordination is an is an issue coordination may be an issue it's a time taking process so also you can write that i will request the politician or i will apprise politician i will give him the detail about the situation i will request that uh, uh, he should also help to motivate the team because his action will demotivate the team and and in this situation he should help to continue the operation now so also here you will have to visualize the consequences consequences you may say that uh, uh, politician may not agree politician may not agree politician may be agree but you don't know exactly but given the situation probably this is one of the best option available to you one of the best among the available option so the point again i am trying to say here is basically what you need to do while writing and while justification also try to visualize the consequences and capture it capture it and number 2 that on what basis and why why factor is missing in your answer why and why not you will do certain things it's it should be very very clear very crystal clear because on that basis only you will get edge over the others you will get over the others so this is something that you need to to uh, understand it second a uh, uh, very important point which i wanted to bring to you can say in your notice is basically the conflict of responsibility conflict of conflict of responsibility fine if you look at the previous papers you will find that most of the questions most of the questions not all the questions but most of the questions are in and around the conflict of responsibility in the sense that this case is moving in and around your role obligation in the sense you are not just officer in a case you may be officer you may be friend you may be you can say uh, husband father etc so cases are being designed in such a way that uh, there are are you can say conflict of responsibility conflict of responsibility for example you understand this through this case just a moment you read this case it will help you to understand what i'm trying to say and then again we will discuss you just read along with me it will help to sync the class so this question says ratandeep an orphan is a 30 year young man who lives in a small town of punjab ratandeep does not have much for the sustenance he does some part time work in a real estate company as he is incapable of holding a full time job due to a drug habit he has also served jail for quite some time for possessing drugs which he kept for his own consumption he never sells it nor is he involved in any other crime but community members of his locality do not like him at all few senior members of his colony have approached you as you are the police inspector of that area community members have put pressure on you to arrest him considering him as a threat to the society community members also approached the local political leader to do something about it since that community is a potential vote bank of the ruling party so you are quite aware that sooner or later you will get instruction from the political quarter also to do the same answer the following questions answer the following question so 
it says discuss the dilemma tangle in the case strict action you will take course of action etc but my prime motto of the discussion is basically to help you to understand that this is also a case of conflict of responsibility conflict of responsibility so in the conflict of responsibility uh, just see if you look at this case number one that you are police inspector so what happens that your prime responsibility is basically to maintain the law and order and here it's law number one number two if you look at the community's members demand your responsibility is also towards the community member this is also a role you have to play why because their demand is genuine because these kind of deviant people will have some or other influence some or other influence always you will find some or other influence on the young impressionable mind but so demand of the community is 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 also a very very important to consider because they say that it's a threat to the society it's a threat to the society fine and forget about the ruling party now you come as an individual also where you find that rapen deep is not a drug peddler not a criminal rather than a victim rather than a victim victim of situation but then victim of situation does not mean your role obligation will change so one side you have to go for the law another side one person one community is demanding certain things and at the same time you think that here ratandeep the kings is basically a problem of becoming a victim of the situation and so you think that it's very important that you should help him to bring out of this rather than anything else now whenever this kind of situation comes you have to always think of one and only one thing and that is what is your prime obligation what is your prime obligation because here also in this case they are asking what is the dilemma tangled in the case dilemma tangled in the case because you have certain responsibility certain obligation out of these obligations one to your obligation and responsibility to to the law to the rule your responsibility towards the community your responsibility towards the ratandeep also so here what happens that you need to think of one and only one thing that what is your prime obligation what is your prime responsibility is it to punish the ratan is it to simply take care of the community or to bring ratan deep out of that situation out of that situation without compromising the law because being an officer otherwise also law of the land is supreme law of the land is supreme so in this case whatever you do you will have to think of one and only one thing that how do i make my prime obligation prime obligation in this sense when there are two or three choices obligations role then you have to prioritize one above the another one above the another and then justification used to play a very very crucial role justification used to play a very very crucial role that's why i i you can say discussing this because if you look at the last us paper you will find that they have emphasized on the conflict of responsibilities a lot and the moment they they discuss about the conflict of responsibility then it's not only about the solution often solutions are quite visible 
but how you will reach what are the alternatives and most important is the justification that the conflict of res responsibility always demands very very strong justification a strong justification if you look if you, you do remember some few years back there was a case of uh, you can say one army personnel who tied up a person in front of a jeep and used him as a human shield human shield across the globe it became a issue of an issue of uh, you can say um, human rights human rights but whatever he did whatever he did but there was a strong justification and justification was that he wanted to minimize the damage minimize the damage if his team could have started firing then i uh, don't know how much life we could have lost also if he could not do anything then the stone pelters might have uh, uh, you can say injured many army personals army personal so here you can say there is a conflict there is a dilemma there is a dilemma but whatever you do the question is basically what consequences you want to achieve whether you have achieved that consequences or not and then how do you justify the whole action justify the whole action often you will find that the case study in the upsc is taken from the real life only you will find uh, that vedanta's estralite plant case of tamil nadu it was there just they changed the name uh, gurugram's uh, gurgaon's uh, you can say maruti plant case was there so some or other case you will find that it's based on the the real life situation only it's not something they are picking randomly randomly one more case i am giving which demands a very typical uh, a case of justification justification you read this my whole idea of today's session is basically to help you to understand the meaning of the justification there is no ready made answer of it uh, justification that how to justify rather you have to justify on the basis of number 1 the consequences you want to achieve and number 2 how do you support your action through the rule through process through virtue through values in the things what argument you apply in that so read this case this case says that there is a senior police officer whose only daughter is going to be married the police officer is very honest and upright and does not want to enter into any controversy especially on the occasion of his daughter's marriage on the wedding day the officer notices that a notorious politician come criminal has come to the officer's residence uninvited before the police officer could spot him he stood up and said that he had just come to bless his daughter under this situation the police officer is in a fix as what to do fine now allow me to come in fine what to do now why he is in a fix why he is in a fix fine. because throughout his life he maintained distance from you can say uh these kind of people he is uninvited uninvited and he is in fix because he does not want to see tomorrow's newspaper which carries photograph of of this police officer with the notorious criminal and that too on this uh, a special occasion a special occasion he is in a fix he is in a fix because ultimately he is a guest and it's a very special occasion and he does not want to do anything rather he simply says that that uh, you can say a politician come residence uninvited he stood and said he just want to come to bless his daughter wo aapki daughter ko sirf aur sirf bless karna chahta aashirwad dena chahta but throughout life aapne in logon se distance maintain kiya na you have maintained the distance so it's also a question of your image and reputation that you have and throughout the life at this time it's also a question 
being an individual, the taste of your virtue, that if someone wants to come, someone comes to you and says that he wants to bless your daughter in this special occasion, even if he invited, then this is also a taste of this, this, and that's why he is in a fix, in a fix. So now you see here, whatever option you take, it demands very strong reasoning, justification, a strong reasoning is justification. Justification. So, what are the options before you? You may reject the request. You may call the press conference, or you may put his. Uh, you can say uh, before the press, not press conference. Sorry, not. I should not use the word. You simply clarify before the media uh, that he is uninvited. Number three, uh, since he is a notorious criminal, he may uh, create certain ruckus also in this. In this, uh, you can say on this occasion. So you may ask the the police officers to you can say keep eye on him, or you can simply ask your daughter to come, and you can ask that you can bless in front of everyone, and then you please have a food and go, right? go. So the question is here that there are are certain option, but each option has certain consequences. Certain consequences. So whatever you do, you must have certain reason behind it. That this is why you will do, and this is why you will not do this. So this is what I want you to convey uh, to this session. That's it. Nothing else. Uh, you do right. Uh, justification has to be very short. You have to write 250 words, so you don't have time. Uh, otherwise, also you don't have to. You can say go for very very detailed justification sort of thing. But more complex situation simply means that basically it tries to test whether you have the ability to justify each and every options or not. It's not about only the listing the various options. Everyone is doing the same. Anyone who has the better ability to reason within the framework of this paper, they will always face the good marks. This is what this paper is all about. This paper is not about the ideal situation. A perfect decision or perfect, you can say, morality is a godlike situation. You have to always try to reach to the near perfect, near best. This is what the effective decision making process is all about. And this is all about today's session. Do write, do write and discuss with me. Thank you. Thank you very much.